Here is the 2022 BMW iX. My name is Denver, I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada, and today I'm gonna to take you guys through an in-depth look at a pre-production 2022 BMW iX. We have had the iX in our store for two days now, thanks to BMW Canada for having a born electric tour where they're bringing out the iX and the i4 to all the dealerships across Canada. And since it's gonna be here, I've been looking at it for a couple of days, I'm gonna hop behind the camera and I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth look of everything that I noticed for this brand new iX. This vehicle has been made from the ground up on a pure, EV platform so it's not going to be having any ICE engine variants like the i4 for example and some of the other future BMW models. The iX is purely electric and it's designed that way with a lot of sustainability and I'll touch on that in quite a bit once I hop behind the camera but before I do make sure you guys smash the like button on this video as it does help me with YouTube's algorithm. Consider subscribing for more BMW content. Now I'm going to get behind the camera and show you guys everything you need to know about the brand new BMW iX. All right, let's get into the walk around of the brand new 2022 BMW iX. I know I had to change uh, locations. It's getting late here at the last night and the porters had to get this car ready to roll out tomorrow to go to the next dealership in Toronto. Before I get into the actual car, let's talk about the key. This has got a new unique BMW key. Check out this brand new BMW key fob that comes with the iX. This is pretty unique. Lock in the center, unlock, trunk release and alarm system. Pretty cool, pretty cool key fob. Let's hit the unlock. Let's take a look at these lights. Unlocks the vehicle, look at the lights turning on. BMW's laser light headlights. They say these are the thinnest headlights on any BMW SUV. You can see the blue elements down the bottom. Looks like just the daylight running lights are coming on. Now this iX is pretty cool. They did give us some training on it. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of that stuff. So majority of the sensors are in this bumper. And then there's also a self-healing film that's over this. So if you get any scratches or rock chips or anything, once it heats back up, it'll melt back together and become a complete layer. Self-healing protectives, which is pretty cool. On the sides, you have active air vents at the bottom of the iX of this massive grill that's really imposing on the whole front of the car. And this does have the bronze trim. You'll notice this car kind of reminds me of Iron Man with the bronze and gold. I don't know if the normal iX grill will look like this or if it's only like that with the bronze grill, so or the bronze trim. It'll be interesting to see. Now, another cool thing they pointed out is that you can't actually open up the hood on the iX. So when you need to top up your washer fluid, this BMW logo, boop, pops open and you have your washer fluid fill up right there which I think is pretty fun pretty cool on the side here we have some air vents it's black plastic I was wondering if whether these are going to be active vents or not I'll have to wait till actual production model to see this pre-production the car isn't perfect I drive system on the inside isn't perfect these are the upgraded 22 inch alloy wheels I did notice that majority like right here alloy but right, right here these are like air curtains to help with the flow this is like a plastic attachment that they've been put onto it which is pretty interesting Let's see if we can look up in the fender well standard air suspension front and rear for this vehicle these blue m spray blue m sport brakes look kind of weird without the m logo sitting on them right there pre-production as well I believe the normal tires for this vehicle are going to be the 20 inch oh there we go you can see it locking mirrors folding in the bronze trim little light strip here for your turn signal unique door handles on this one a comfort door access for locking right here and then you have your there's a small button on the inside and then when you do it the door like jumps open like it pops itself open pops it away and you see that green light that came up before like the ambient lighting here is like smart and like reacts to you like i guess it was when you lock it it goes red when you unlock it, it goes green and it is also this unique frameless for an SUV. It's like one of the only SUVs with a frameless window design, at least from BMW. You do have this kind of like little odd piece of glass here that's kind of sticking up and ceiling. And then the rest of the glass will come up, but frameless. Moving on to the back sleek design. I'm not going to talk about how much the designs are and everything. I'm just going to film all the things that I notice and touch on those for you guys rear wheels as well 22 inches now they did tell us that they're going to be all normal tires and run flats are not available on the ix something due to like range and they absorb more power from the battery and they get longer range you have to have the normal tires versus the run flats so i found that very interesting 
Your charging point is like where it would be on a gas engine, big flap that you open up. This one is unique to the iX, not a carryover like the i4 had. And you have your charging ports. So at home, you're doing the AC. If you're gonna do supercharging with DC current, it opens up the bottom one there. Two extra flaps after you already do your initial flap. So you gotta open up first, and then you gotta open up your other ones as well, which is interesting. And it gives you all the symbols here of what it means when you're charging. Pretty cool, there's another IX embossed into the black plastic here. Coming around to the back, you also have very thin rear tail lights. Now this big BMW roundel has the camera built into the back and this outer roundel is a washer jet. So this will pop open, spray the camera and clean it up for you. License plate spot. And then you have no tailpipes at the back, just diffuser, aggressive elements for the IX. This one is the E-Drive 50, so standard front and rear wheel drive. And this side's pretty much the same. Now, before I hop into the front, the driver's seat, you can see a sneak peek of that large screen. Let's take a look at the trunk area. Full power tailgate on the XIX. And look at that, you have these unique lights built in at the back. So the extra safety back here if you ever need to open up the trunk in dark areas. And then you'll notice as well, Carbon fiber composite plastic, just like on the i3 and the i8. It's where a lot of the technology got pulled over from the iX, where the i4 ahead is like normal BMW. This is pure electric platform. Has the privacy cover kind of carried over from the X6, X4, where it's like a two piece, one there and one there, instead of it being the pull privacy cover you'll see on the X5. Seats, and then down here, storage compartment the charging cable and a little bit of extra storage right there as well you get a tire inflator right there because there is no run flat so tire inflator and deep storage on the side here you have release buttons for the seats doesn't seem like either one of them want to work for me right now but push those buttons the seats will drop forward powered releases there no longer a manual pull handle other than that you know you get a decent uh, amount of trunk space the way that the back hatches it's like completely flat kind of reminds me i don't know why i got the I'm thinking ninja turtle in my head or something like that i don't know why but it looks a little odd but you know it is what it is when you're when it's closed it doesn't look the same way it's just very interesting how they did it. it's like the opening seal is like completely flat completely flush there's no like sloped or scaped design or anything like that when you're ready to close it you just close i notice there's no lock button here i wonder if there'll be the close and the lock like on the normal production model eh, it's this car is temperamental being a pre-production one huge glass sunroof you can see up top before we get to the front so let's take a look at the back seats as well interesting door panel design so this is the top of the line interior does say that they are like the leather is tanned with olive leaf extracts bowers and wilkins sound system in here i will say these are some of the comfiest seats of any bmw that i've sat in they are really soft really plush they have a lot of give to them normally bmw seats are pretty stiff leather you know being sports vehicles cup holders come out there Push that up. And then another thing that I found interesting in the back seat is there is a lot of room and it is very comfortable. And the seat could come forward back and I still have a lot of leg room. There's no longer a drive shaft coming through the center. So it's very easy to have in three people back here. The back of the seats, we now have a USB, two USB-C chargers, the adapter lifestyle section over there. And then you get one on the back of either seat Rear climate control section, rear heated seats. One thing I love is the fact that even on the seats, like it comes over into this section right here on a slight angle. So if you're just chilling, you can push your shoulder into it. So it comes back on like an angle right here. So you can like kind of be like leaning up against the door panel and you know, it feels pretty good. It's a lot comfier, a little more support for your shoulder. You're not just bouncing off the door, which I found very interesting. Take a look at the sunroof right now. Right now it's tinted dark, not allowing the sun in. There's a small button right here. I'm gonna press that button. Press that button and now it's less tinted. You can start to see the roof up there. 
It's pretty cool. The sunroof no longer opens. It either just opaque or not opaque and just letting sun through or not letting sun through. Door panels. Very interesting. Bowers and Wilkins on this one. Chrome highlights on the inside. If you want to open your door to get out, this is how you do it. You press this little button and it ejects and lets you out. Now, if that does fail, there is a mechanical one that's hidden underneath here, which you can pull to get out. And you also have like a gloss black window control. Instead of being like matte black, it's like a gloss black. Ambient lighting underneath all the windows. Get into the front, a little pop, pops the door open for you. Look at this interior suite designs on the inside. So we got glass application. Your normal BMW, these controls for your seats would be down on your seat. And now, kind of similar to Mercedes where they're sitting on the door panel instead of down by the seat. You know why they did that? These seats are so wide and they're missing the side lumbar support. There's barely, or not lumbar, but like bolstering here. Normally BMW seats have quite the bolstering there. These are flat, they stick out so close to the door panel. There's no room to get your hand down there once the door is closed. But it sure does look nice, kind of bougie on the side here for your seats adjustments. And then down here, gloss black as well. Gloss black for all these controls. Well, you typically see your mirrors, your window controls, the rear seats, Bowers and Wilkins lighting up, your central door locks. And then once again on the front, to open your door, press that button, the door opens, trunk release down at the bottom, and then as well as the manual control here for opening the door in case you get uh, the battery dies or anything like that. Now, interior design, very unique. Hexagonal steering wheel with a flat bottom, gives you more leg room. Let me hop in here. We have this brand new iDrive 8. Just Unfortunately, cool. that function is currently not available. Ooh, apparently a lot of functions are unavailable since this is a pre-production iX, not the full production units. Look at this steering wheel. Nothing in the bottom here, just the two side ones. Cruise control still on the left, infotainment system still on the right, just with new buttons, music button. Ooh, we got a little display screen here. I notice there's no longer a BC button. You can't cycle through any widgets on this one. Your lights buttons are now simplified. You're basically like either it's on or it's on auto or it's off. You do have the full electronic steering like you would get in an X5 for in, out, up and down make yourself comfortable rain sensing uh, auto wipers you'll notice a lot of things with this crosshatch pattern right here which is unique to the ix you can see it here there there's some on the back seats apparently it's supposed to be on some of the interior design options you kind of see that and check out this brand new iDrive 8. If you want to see the full iDrive 8 walk around and everything like that, just click the link at the down below. I'm going to go more in depth on the iDrive 8. This one, I'm just going to focus on the iX. Dashboard wise, you literally only have your hazards buttons, rear main, uh, max defrost and rear heated. Everything else is in your infotainment screen here. So like climate menu, you can adjust everything. Wow, it looks pretty complicated. A lot of different options that you have here. Ventilated seats, heated seats, turning them up, turning them down, heated steering wheel. Yeah, heated steering wheels even activated through the infotainment system and there's no longer a button. Normally there'd be a heated steering wheel button right here. Everything's through the iDrive controller now or the infotainment system. Coming down, iDrive controllers on this chestnut little board. Now, I did notice that in all the promo pieces and everything, this is built in, but it is a standalone option for $600. So make sure on your ordering guides, you add that in if you want it to look exactly like this. This glass application is super cool. And the fact that it's also touchscreen as well, that's fantastic. Your volume control, very unique there. It's pretty cool. And then your, you know, buttons have been redone. A lot of shy tech, as they say, like your air suspension. What is this? driving settings is that button so you can go in and you can check out the driver's assistance drivetrain so regenerative braking how do you want that adaptive the iconic sound a lot of cool functions on this and then look at the start and stop button that's cool let's push our foot on the brake let's press the start button whoa you guys hear that that was cool door is open let's close the door look it tells you where your occupants would be on the car that's cool 
let's let's see there's no longer like a sport eco comfort mode but there's my modes what does my modes do let's close that message close that message close that message i mode what does that do modes look at that now you can choose what do you want personal sport let's do sport you know only the those settings change nothing over here changed for sport mode uh, let's do switch modes. Let's do effective. Once again, nothing over here changed. But I'm hearing something change. Like I think in the seat. Yeah, the seats. The seat bolstering just got tighter when I went into sport mode. I can hear the air suspension going off outside the vehicle. Yeah, you can hear the air suspension. It's lifting or lowering depending on which mode it in. Personal. This vehicle will adapt to your situation. That is cool. But I'm surprised nothing changes here. Drive. Oh, even when you go into drive now, gives you images of your surroundings. Reverse. Okay, but like, what was park? I've been mean, going drive reverse. So you have reverse, you have neutral, you have drive. If I go down again, you have regenerative braking mode. But where's park? If I push this on... St oh, okay, now it goes into park. So in order to get into park, you have to press the parking button. Auto H button, cool, and turn off. Whoa, goodbye mode, charge now. Undesired theft one. You see the, the lights on that were super cool. What? Ooh, man, that sounds cool. Literally sounds, literally sounds like a video game. Okay, that's cool. That, that's that's cool. Okay, let's see. I drive system up here. Let's see. We have a normal mirror, universal remote control. Oh, we have an interior camera on the inside now. So anti-theft device. I figured maybe it'd be something like you can leave your pets in the car and climate control system would be on. But no, it's not meant for that. It's just meant for theft. And then this is your button for your sunroof. Boom. Boom. How cool is that? That is cool. All right, what else is there to talk about? Passenger side. There's a little phone holder here for the passenger side for your iPhones and everything. I think that's a very, very nice attachment because where, like a lot of times, where do you put your phone? Oh, you can see the olive leaf embossed into the leather. Look at the dashboard here too. Bowers and Wilkins. Oh, head-up display. Let's check a look at this head-up display. Cool. Does it change when you go through my modes? When I go into sport, it doesn't change. Nothing changed when you go into sport. On the i4 earlier, you know, it changed and stuff like that. If you want to see that video, make sure you check out my profile, subscribe to the channel. 14% battery range, and we've got 75 kilometers of range. Interesting. All right. To open up the door on the inside, and it pops it open. Red lighting. And down here you have your cup holders, which I say are pretty far away and not that practical. Like when I'm sitting in here and I want to get my coffee, I don't want to put go dive down in here to get it. So that is very interesting. Why is it so far? You have all this empty space. You could have it right here at the edge here, but you have it down there. And then you have a wireless charging tray, two USB-C ports, and a 12-volt converter. You have a center console here. doesn't look like there's any charging ports inside here nothing Look at that. ambient lighting is that pink or red I think that's red yeah very interesting now in the trunk you do get this uh like trinkle charger basically when you're on 110 this car will take like a week to charge up. So you definitely may need to make sure if you're purchasing one of these, you're getting the level two wall box installed or the superchargers. They're saying it's something like 20 minutes to go and uh, get a couple hundred kilometers at a range on a level three supercharger. And I think it's about 17 or 25 hours or something like that to go from zero to 100% on your level two charger. But most times, you know, you're not coming home with a completely depleted battery and it'll give you enough time to get it charged up for the morning. Yeah, that's pretty much everything there is for my in-depth walk around on the brand new BMW iX. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. 
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this BMW content, exclusive sneak peek of the brand new 2022 iX. This is a pre-production model with normal production starting in November. If you are interested in purchasing one, please feel free to reach out to me at my email down below. I'm also going to leave a link to the video I made on the ordering guides for this. So if you want to check out MSRP pricing and what the options, colors, interior options are, you can feel free to check that out down below. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you smash the like button, consider subscribing for more BMW content, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.